guys! So I have for you today another unboxing video. This is one that I absolutely love. It's probably one of my favorite boxes to open. It is the Fortune Cookie Soap Box. And what this is, it is a $20 box that Fortune Cookie Soaps, which is an online brand, they have a store somewhere in like Oklahoma or something, but they're mostly an online brand that does bath and body products. And they put out a quarterly box. It is $20 every four months and it is like a seasonal type thing. So this is their spring box and it looks like this. I love Fortune Cookie Soaps. A lot of their stuff usually smells so good. They have um, different collections that they base around different themes like they've done Nightmare Before Christmas, they've done The Wizard of Oz, they've done Harry Potter, I think they just did a Game of Thrones one. Um, they have a bunch of different stuff but I love them. They have they all smell so good and they all have great names. I love their names of their products. They like are hilarious some of the times. They are inappropriate some of the times. They are perfectly described, perfectly named for their theme and it's just awesome. So let's get started. This is what the box looks like when I open it up and right away I see that it is a Alice in Wonderland theme, which is awesome. It says, um, Welcome to Wonderland. Beware the Bandersnatch. That might be from the book. I don't think that's in the movie. But it looks like this. It's super cute. And this is a $20 box, but they give you a $10 code to put into their... Uh, it's like a coupon code for um, your purchase. It's one time use, $10 off your purchase, which basically saves on shipping plus a little bit of extra, depending on how much you spend and it's just awesome. Also inside of here it has a list of all of the products that come in the box, all of the scent descriptions, all of the product descriptions, stuff like that. I try not to look at that right, right away I can tell you that this box smells really good. It looks like this. Super super stinking cute. So this is the first thing that dropped so this is what I'm going to look at first. It is a heart shaped something with rose petals in it which I'm guessing it's going to be named something to do with the Red Queen and I'm guessing it's a bath something because what else would you do with this? It's kind of like powdery. It smells very flowery. Yeah it smells really good but it does smell really flowery which would make sense because it has the rose petals right there in it. So let's see. This is called, the scent is called Off With Their Heads and it is a bath bomb. It says, or I just love my morning coffee and executions, don't you? Well, duh. It says it is lemons, oranges, um, roses, violets, and star jasmine with tones of bergamot and Egyptian musk. So I think it smells good. It would be a nice, like, pretty bath. Let's see. Next thing, I see a little butterfly, which is super cute. It is, like, just a super cute little butterfly right there. Then I see a bag of something. They're black little cones that smell good. All kind of citrusy. Let's see what these are and what they're described as. Okay. Yeah, I was right. Incense cones. Okay. It says, who are you? Which that is like the Cheshire cat, right? Isn't that who says that? Cheshire cat. He's like, who are you? <laughs> Something like that. Um, it is a mysterious mixture of crisp ripe pear twisted with tart limes, vanilla orchid, and a dash of raw cane sugar. You place it on a non-flammable surface. You light the tip and let it burn for 10 seconds. Then exhaust. Or keep the cone in muslin bag and use as a sachet. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, but it smells good. But these are incense cones, so I like those. I don't really use them, but I use candles most of the time. But I think I have a friend who might like these, so. The next thing I see is an OCD hand sanitizer, and these are in every single box. This is called We're All Mad Here, which is what the Mad Hatter says. So, and it's a very pretty purple and it has a little bit of like a glitteriness to it. Let's see what this smells like. For these, they're easier to smell after you put them on for a minute. And I really like that the color matches my shirt today. Do you see that? 
That's kind of cool. It smells almost flowery, but like there's something else to it. I'm really bad at describing scents. I don't know why I do these kind of videos just because I absolutely love these um, things, but I, I'm horrible at describing scents. Anyway, this is called We're All Mad Here, OCD, which truly explains a lot. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Um, it says, playful mint waters and natural leafy greens, green notes perform a masterful balancing act with rich cedar wood. It's not like an overly flowery scent. It's not like, I don't know, it smells good. It smells like clean. The next thing is kind of cool because it looks like one of those bottles that were on like a table that said drink me. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, this is called Futterwhacken. Is that like something inappropriate? I don't know. Um, it is a body wash and let's see. I want to say it smells citrusy but I don't know if that's just because it's an orange color. I feel like I got some on my nose but let's look. Okay. Futterwhacken. Not here. Not here, everybody's watching. Uh, it says, sun warmed lily is brightened with a splash of grapefruit and a breath of fresh air. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I like that scent. So I wasn't far off with the citrusy because it's grapefruit, right? So the next thing I see looks like a bag of tea. It smells clean and citrusy. Like, I would clean my counters with that. <laughs> Does that sound weird? Of course it is. Twisted Tea Party. That would make sense. It looks like a tea bag. And it is a bath tea. Like you put it in your bath and you soak in tea. What? That's weird. Okay. But let's let's read it. Um it says that sounds like my kind of party, as long as you're serving Long Island. A light refreshing green tea with notes of sweet herbal vanilla bean, cucumber, golden amber, and hints of neroli and geranium. Stirred with a bright sprig of mint. Place tea bag directly in a warm bath. So basically you're taking a tea bath, which is weird. There is a itty bitty um, perfume oil. It's called Eat Me, which would be weird to eat a perfume oil. Probably not smart to eat a perfume oil. Oh, it smells sweet. It smells fruity and sweet, like a baked, something sweet. The scrumptious yellow cake with a fresh slathering of rich creamy vanilla frosting topped with white pineapple slices garnished with a sprig of blooming cilantro. I was so close. I said it smells fruity, pineapple, and something sweet like a baked good yellow cake and frosting. Hello. I was dead on on this one. That hardly ever happens. Ugh. But I would not wear this. I would like maybe have it as a um, bath wash or something. I wouldn't do it as a perfume. Then I have a, I believe this is a whipped cream, which are one of my favorite products. These are their, um, like body butters. I absolutely love these. This is in the scent. It's only a dream. All I smell is like baby powder or like dryer sheets. That's kind of weird. It's a pretty pink color though. This says, it's only a dream. Welcome to Wonderland, where playing cards come to life and everything is full of nonsense. Calming vervania, lemongrass, calla lily, and citrus blend with leafy greens, yang yang, yang yang, something like that, rosewood, and ozone with hints of soft musk and rose. I don't think any of that says dryer sheets, but that's what it smells like to me. And the last thing in their box is their fortune cookie soap. And you get one of these in every box too. It is their signature soap that is shaped like a fortune cookie, which are super freaking cute. <laughs> the fortune says, I haven't the slightest idea. What? That's not a fortune. Um, but it is in the scent Almost Alice. I'm really bad at describing scents. I don't know. What is this? It says, I'd rather be Almost Alice than completely Bob, or Stan for that matter. It says, fresh green snap peas and juicy pears brighten this bouquet of sweet pea flowers, freesia, and sprinkled with ripe berries. So I'm shocked. There is actually not anything I don't like the scent of. Everything smells good. Everything smells like something I would use one way or another or give to a friend or something like that. Um, I'm really excited to try all this stuff out. This collection, which is called Wonderland, is going to be released February 27th. They open up their site at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time um, and this stuff will all go on sale. I highly, highly recommend, let's see, I really like the scent 
Flutterwacken, which is weird, but I really like that scent. I think that's something that I will probably end up getting. I really like the scent Eat Me because it just smells really good and it smells like something that I would use as like a body wash or a body lotion. I think those are the two things that I'm going to be getting when the stuff goes on sale. So if you guys also want to check it out, I will leave a link down below to Fortune Cookie Soap fortune cookie soaps website Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys have checked out anything from fortune cookie soaps if you have any suggestions of things that i should try out thank or you guys so much for watching and i will see you real soon bye